so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. He lifted me, lifted me, lifted me, lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad he can set you free. Singing glory, hallelujah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Hallelujah. God, I give you praise, God, this morning for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. All give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good and his mercy endures forever. It's all about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming again. Ah, we must be born again of the water and of the spirit. God bless you this morning. Uh, we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You don't have to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. Jesus is coming again. He don't want to see you die and go to hell. Hell was not created for you. It was created for his fallen angels and Satan himself, whose name used to be Lucifer, but he was cast out of heaven. Follow Jesus and he'll give you eternal life. For Jesus said, I am the way. The truth, I am the light. And no man can come unto the Father but by me. Praise God, everybody. I praise God. I went to the sports world. I was born, uh, not born, but growing up playing sports, playing basketball. Y'all saw me, Holy Ghost made me fly. Praise God. I don't fly as high as Michael Jordan in basketball, but I can fly. Grew up playing baseball, basketball, football. But I was more known in basketball and baseball. And as good as I was in basketball and dunking contests back in the Bronx and back playing in Harlem where I was born at, I was even more better at baseball. So I want to talk about the sports world. Uh, I saw a video here where it was Vince Carter and Michael Jordan got together. You know, Vince Carter is one of the greatest dunkers. We already know Eric Jordan could dunk. Praise God. I remember Vince Carter jumped over a seven foot his head. A man is seven feet in the Olympics. We know Jordan done dunked on everybody in the NBA. He modeled after another basketball player who I used to love, Dr. J. And Dr. J used to like Elgin Bella back in the days of Will Chamberlain. I saw this video here where Vince Carter and Michael Jordan, they had fellowship. They got together. It was so nice. Praise God. I saw the comments here in the sports world. They said, um, Jordan is, they said, Jordan is a GOAT. Vince Carter is the greatest dunker. I saw the comments here. But one of the comments here caught my attention. One of them said, Jordan is the king of all kings. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, the best of the best, bow down to greatness. Well, I'm not bowing down to nobody but Jesus. I'm not his greatness, but Jesus, you know, first of all, I would never call no one the king of kings. The only one who's the king of kings is Jesus Christ. As great as he is, Jordan, we love Jordan. But he is not the king of all kings. Many of you are even saying he's black Jesus. I understand how great he was. I understand what you mean. But if you're going to call him black Jesus, why not acknowledge the real Jesus? I think they call Earl, uh, I believe it was Earl Monroe. They used to call him Black Jesus back in the day because he was so good. But why not acknowledge the real Jesus? I don't care how good Michael Jordan is, he's not the king of kings. Praise God. Never even heard him even mention God. Look like if I had talent like Michael Jordan, I would be acknowledging God and saying, wow, I thank God for this awesome gift that God has given me. I know Larry Bird said one time that he's God playing in speakers because he's so good. But he is not the king of kings. The king of kings is Jesus Christ. Let's stop worshiping men. Let's stop worshiping women. Many of you get so caught up in celebrities and Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson never acknowledged Jesus. He's a king of pop. Yeah, but he ain't got nothing of the king of kings. 
the king of pop died well not if he did die if he died without jesus michael jackson is in hell don't talk about my boy mike it's true come on biggie smalls down there he said that he wanted to go to hell well he got his wish i'm sure he changed his mind now too late people get so i want to help you out not to put nobody down but don't get so caught up in the greatness of athletes that you don't acknowledge the greatness of God. They were calling Michael Jordan, Black Jesus, and King of Kings. Why not acknowledge the real Jesus? He's a King of Kings. I don't care how great somebody is, I would never call them the King of Kings. Now they may be a king, but they're not the King of Kings. Jesus, Yeshua HaMessiah, become a believer, is the King of all Kings. You're not supposed to worship no man. People are worshiping men. I don't want anybody worshiping me. I'm not God. He's the God above all gods. Ah, hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Folks are worshiping Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson never not as Jesus. Doing the moonwalk. The moonwalk was of the devil. Come on, come on. He wasn't walking for Jesus. It was that they worshiping Elvis Presley. Or I have a home dog. Y'all didn't know Elvis Presley used to sing gospel, but he left God and began to sing rock. Rock is of the devil. Come on, come on. Sam Cook used to sing for Jesus, but he went off into the world and began to sing for the devil. I used to love Aretha Franklin. They called the Queen of Soul. But she was singing gospel, and then she went off singing for the world. You can't serve two masters. These people were not totally sold out to God. If you're going to sing for Jesus, don't be singing for the devil too. Sing for the devil, then sing gospel. If they ain't singing for the devil, they think because you're singing for, for Jesus that you're going to heaven. If you're singing for Jesus, then just stick with singing for Jesus. Not sing with devil worshiping people who don't care nothing about Jesus. Jesus said, no man can serve two masters. Love the one and hate the other. You're not coming back for a lukewarm church. So I love Stevie Wonder. I like Stevie Wonder too. But Stevie Wonder, we got to pray for him. He's not totally sold out. If you're going to sing for Jesus, then just keep singing for Jesus. Not go back out in the world and hanging with the Rolling Stones and hanging with Satanists who's singing rock. And then you back in the church, in Blake Church, my God been good to me, gee. Well, you know, I can't sing like Stevie Wonder. He's doing all the riffs. But then you, but you're not totally sold out to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're not totally sold out for singing for Jesus. And you're back singing for the world. Then you're singing for God again. Then you're back hanging with devil worshippers again who don't love Jesus, but they made a pact with the devil and they sold his soul to Satan. If you love Jesus, you don't feel comfortable around devil worshippers. The Bible said, what fellowship do darkness have with light? Come on, two can't can two work together except to be agreed. Amos 3.3, 3, the, the, the answer is no. So we love Michael Jordan. We're not trying to put him down, but, the, but he ain't the king of kings. Now, he may be the king in basketball as far as over other stars, but he, but he is not the king of kings. The king of kings is Jesus Christ. You haven't, many of you are there having these debates, who's the GOAT? Still having debates, who's the GOAT between LeBron James and, and Michael Jordan? You're having all these debates, but what about Jesus? Oh, come on, tell us, man. What about Jesus? Folk in sports spend all this time having debates about who's the GOAT. <laughs> First of all, in the Bible, the GOATs would be on the left side. The GOATs are sinners. We all was born in sin. And those who love Jesus are called the sheep. Now, folks spend all this time arguing about who's the GOAT. Yeah, LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Now, I feel Michael Jordan is on a higher level. But people saying the goat. Now, I don't like to use the word goat because in the Bible, sinners are called goats. The devil worshiping the world, they go by the terminology goat. Notice they don't say sheep. Folks get so caught up in sports. I used to like Muhammad Ali, but he didn't lift up Jesus. He lifted up Muhammad. Muhammad is not the way. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life and no man can come unto the father but by me 
I used to like Muhammad Ali. Sting like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. I'm called Muhammad Ali. I'm the greatest of all time. Jesus is the greatest of all time. Now, I feel he was the greatest boxer. He had Sugar Ray Robinson. I like Sugar Ray Leonard. And Mike Tyson is no joke either. But Jesus is the greatest of all times. Don't get so caught up in celebrities that you forget about Jesus. You start worshiping these stars as though they are God. We're not supposed to worship no man as being a God. God said, I'm a jealous God. Thou shall not have no other God before me. Oh, hallelujah. God says, I am the Lord's and the Lord is my name and my glory I will not give to another. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8. Y'all there arguing about whether Michael Jordan or LeBron James is a GOAT. You should be focusing on your soul. How long are we going to be having these debates? How about your soul? Because we all going to die one day. It's appointed the Bible said for men wants to die. But the end is judgment. Yeah, Lord. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. The Bible said that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Not Santa Claus. Santa Claus ain't nothing but the devil. Santa Claus means Satan want to grip you in his claws. But Jesus came to deliver us from the devil's claws. Yeah, Lord. Hold on, my high most I feel the anointing of God right now. Not Balfamet. Not Pope John Paul. Not Pope Francis. Many you're acting like he's Jesus. He's not Jesus. He's not God. The Bible said they worship and serve the creature more than the creator. We ought to acknowledge that Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I like sports. I love sports. I watch WWE wrestlers. But many of y'all get so caught up in the sports that you allow that to be a distraction for letting you have a relationship with God. You done got so caught up in the Super Bowl not realizing that the one who started football was a Freemason. Uh-oh, preach Holy Ghost. Who worshiped Lucifer. Who worshiped Lucifer. Who was worshiping the devil. Who worshiped Balfamet. And those Super Bowls during halftime, they got nothing but devil worshippers doing the rituals and their performance during the Super Bowl. That lets you know there's demons even in the Super Bowl and the football. Come on, be careful. God ain't being glorified. They had Beyonce even up there doing rituals in the Super Bowl. And Lady Gaga, nothing but the witches and warlocks. God loves them. I pray they come. I hope they come to Jesus. It's up to them. God has not forced the Bible on nobody. I'm sure they heard the gospel being preached that God loves her, but he doesn't love the sin. But if you repent from sin and let the Lord live within, now you can escape a devil's hell. What profits a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Making the pact with the devil for fame and fortune. When that contract is up, the devil will come to collect and take your soul to hell. I ain't trying to go to no hell for fame and fortune. Money cannot buy you out of hell. When the rich man died, his riches could not buy him out of hell. The Bible said in hell, he lifted up his eyes in hell and tore me in flames. See, you're saying, preacher Juan, there's something wrong being rich. Ain't nothing wrong being rich, but don't put riches above God. Don't get rich the devil's way. Don't put money above God. Put God above money. May God your honey and he'll bless you with money. But don't put money above God because money will pass away. Yes, you can buy you cars and houses, but that stuff cannot buy you into heaven. So why are you arguing about who's the GOAT? Michael Jordan or LeBron James? I was I would say Michael Jordan is more talented. We LeBron James is great. But what about how about your soul? What about Jesus? Do y'all know a lot of them folk up in the sports world are with the Illuminatis? Come on. We used to love Kobe Bryant. It came out in the cartoon a long time ago that Kobe Bryant was dying in a helicopter accident. It came out in the cartoon, I believe it was in 2016. Now, how they knew that? Kobe Bryant was involved with the Illuminatis. He putting up pyramid signs along with his wife. Bill for family was so sad what happened to Kobe Bryant. We used to love him and his daughter, like a nice young man. But we're just deceived into the occult. I got to keep it real now. I'm going to talk about my boy. We're trying to help you so you won't make the same mistake. Pray for them if you got, if you got the Holy Ghost. After Kobe Bryant passed away, it was sad. In that helicopter accident, we had church people had it. Church folk 
Christians had his picture all up in the churches acting like he was God. It was rituals that was going on. Satanists was doing rituals in his honor. Because he was with the, the Illuminati. He had a witchcraft book coming out. Satanists. And we used to love Kobe Bryant. Love his personality. But he was deceiving to the occult. Come on. I just want to warn you those in the sports world. Y'all like to watch sports. But how about Jesus? Folks get so caught up in baseball that you forget about Jesus. I knew about Babe Ruth. I knew about, I used to like Reggie Jackson. Before get so caught up in sports that we forget all about Jesus. We done got so caught up in WWE, SmackDown Wrestling, and Raw that we done forgot about Jesus, not realizing there's even satanic rituals even going on, even in WWE. How about Jesus mania over WrestleMania? What about Jesus? We all is gonna stand before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God is a righteous judge. And whoever name is not found and written in the land's book of life shall be cast in the lake of fire. Be more concerned about your soul. Fear God, for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. You need to learn how to fear God. And stop giving glory to people. Love them and admire their abilities. But a lot of these celebrities in Hollywood are worshiping Satan and they incantate demons. Come on. Do you not know that when you go see a horror movie and giving your money to horror movies, you're supporting the devil's work and don't even realize it? So now they open up doors for demons to come in your life and mess up your marriage and attack your children. Be careful. Got to be careful. Someone tell someone, be careful. Christians are supporting horror movies. I, used to, I was the same way until God opened up my eyes. I went to see Jason one time versus Freddy Krueger. They had some naked woman up there bathing up in there, had lust all in the horror movies. The devil know what he doing. Didn't realize I was supporting the devil. When you support horror movies and give your money to those theaters that play them horror movies, you're supporting Satan. Now that gives room for demons to infiltrate your life. I rather support Jesus. Jesus said, ha, I am the way, ha, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Repent. Hallelujah, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent from sin. It was me turn away from sin. I used to love Bruce Lee. I used to love martial arts. Most of us used to love Bruce Lee. Grew up on martial arts. Then in the dragon. So God began to show me. Satan is called the dragon. We're not saying Bruce Lee is Satan. But Satan is called the dragon. We used to love Bruce. But did he believe in Jesus? He could not defeat that demon. He defeated so many men. Many of you thought that Bruce Lee was only that way in the movies. Bruce Lee beat men like that in real life. He was extraordinary. Phenomenal. But he did not serve Jesus. He could not beat the demon. The curse that was put upon his family when there was a wizard who was jealous of the Lee family. It was a male wizard, a sorcerer, who put a curse on the men in the family. That's how he died at early, untimely early death. And then Brandon Lee, the devil, the demon took Brandon Lee. He could not defeat that demon because he did not have the Holy Ghost. The only one who can defeat and destroy demons is Jesus Christ. Yeshua, Hamashiach, become a believer. Let's stop worshiping celebrities and pray for them if you are saved. Pray for their souls and say, Lord, open up their eyes to see the truth. For ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. I just wanted to clarify that. We're going to pray for Michael Jordan, this car. I love this car. I love the stars. We love NBA. I used to like Mike, Magic Johnson. But God doesn't use Magic. We used to love Magic Johnson, Irving Johnson. But God is against the word Magic. God doesn't use magic. He had the power of God, which is called the anointing, which is greater than magic. Magic invents yokes, but it's the God's power, the anointing that breaks the yoke, that destroys the yoke. It's not by might, it's not by power, but God has said, it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, let's not worship celebrities and worship God.
He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and He's the greatest of them all. And He's the one we all gonna stand before. He's the one who's a righteous judge. I'm more afraid of His power. I don't play with God. God is not a joke. Okay, I want to help you out. For those who got a problem with pornography, but that was nice. They had a good fellowship. God loves both of them. All the NBA stars in football and basketball and boxing come to Jesus. Many of you get so caught up in these sports and hockey and everything that you don't forgot about your soul. You not know that you all got to stand before God too. The biggest icon is Jesus Christ. Not only he's an icon, but he's the holiest icon. A whole lot of icons who ain't holy. Many of us focus on the power of Jesus. His power is incredible. But how about the holy side of Jesus? A lot of folk want to be have power like Jesus, but don't want to be holy like Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. Preach Holy Ghost. He said, be holy. I am holy. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 44 and verse 45. Oh, Lordy. First Peter chapter 1, verse 16. He said, be holy for I am holy. A lot of folk don't want to preach about holiness because they ain't the money-making message. I'm not out here preaching for no money. This preacher you ain't got to hate. I ain't got no no collection plates. It's about your soul, where you're going at. After you pass away, tomorrow ain't guaranteed to you or me. A gosh of the day, if you hear my voice, heart and not your heart. Oh, many of you so caught up in the rap stars. Not realize a lot of them rap stars ain't nothing but devil worshipers who made a pact with the devil. That's why the lyrics are so demonic. Come on. They're working for the devil. Every time you hear that rap music in your ear, pad, demons are infiltrating in your life. Now you have no interest to hear about Jesus because now your pleasure is in the presence of the world. And that rap music was God ain't glorified, even in the gospel music world. There are a lot of Satanists. Kirk Frank up there doing James Brown and Michael Jackson moves. That don't glorify God. You think it's the Holy Ghost and it's not. I'm praying for Mary, Mary. God loves them, but cover your breasts, cover your body. God ain't gonna have his daughters just as seductive. Just because you're singing about Jesus, it does not mean that you're living for Jesus. Even in the gospel music world, I play bass guitar and my record is out. But certain music, I don't even go for. Oh Lord, it got too early. You think it's glorifying God? You cutting all these worldly steps? And think it's us of God, but the Bible said, "Be not conformed to the world, neither be ah be, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God." Even a lot of gospel music, I became too early. Now you can't even tell church from a strip club. Going to some of these churches now is like going to a strip club. Now the church wants to act like the world. Come on, got half naked women in the church got sodomites men gone with men women gone with women come on hallelujah churches it's time to repent james cleveland was a gospel star but he raped his stepson if james cleveland didn't repent james cleveland is in hell i don't care how much gospel music he made got too many faggots up in the gospel music well sit right in church giving their wives aids come on Mr. A. Long, he didn't repent. He died in hell too. Repent. Come on. This is no money making mess. God loves you. And he don't want to see you suffer in hell. I don't want to go to hell. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Help me to live what I preach and not just preach. Preach to reach each. Come on, come on. They that preach the gospel must live the gospel. I'm trying to help you. Tomorrow ain't guaranteed to none of us. Ah, I want my soul to be saved. I'm praying for my family. I'm praying for my enemies. I'm praying for Lady Bashir. God bless her. I'm praying for you, all of you out there. Tyler, the angels, the handmaid, all of you. Keep praying for me. I want us to be saved. I want us to make the rapture. But it's up to us. It's up to you individually. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and shimmling. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm praying for Kurt Frank. He opened up his eyes to see. Not just him. All of you gospel stars, I used to pray for gospel concerts, the bass guitar, until I got convicted that some of these moves was too early. That's it. Hey, ho, got too early. Some of these moves that you think is a Holy Ghost ain't the Holy Ghost. It's a club dance. Dance like you in the club. Women of their wearing splits in many dresses. 
You think you're going to find God and you're not. One time they invited me to Cliff Old Dollar Church up in New York City. They have their dancing on Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson never glorified God. Beat it! Right. <laughs> God bless you, young man. Happy to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now the demons are beating Michael Jackson. It's sad. Michael Jackson never glorified God. You and them church are there dancing on Michael Jackson. Do, 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 do. Playing all this worldly music in church. Think you're going and find God and you're not. Michael Jackson never served Jesus. So he was a Jehovah witness, but he was serving the devil. Come on, come on, come on. Prince too. Serving the devil. But the prince of darkness. Well, don't talk about my boy Mike. We're trying to help you. You're trying to warn you. Take it or leave it. Well, I don't like the way preacher wine preach. I want to hear about blessings and prosperity. What's the sister getting blessed and still die and go to hell and don't get rid of mess? Come on. God wants souls to be saved. Many you church up there dancing on Michael Jackson and playing all this worldly music and beat bopping in the church like it's a discotheque. The church became worldly. Many churches became too worldly for me. Many of you pastors up there pimping in the pulpit, cheating on your wife, or they're having affairs with the secretary. You and the secretary is going to hell if you don't repent and stop cheating on your wife. And more than just preaching the gospel, we got to live it. Come on. Now, I pray Jeremiah Bryant repent. I hope T.D. Jake repent. T.D. Jake to the told Diddy. Stop all that sex party mess. Come on. Instead, here they're hanging with Diddy. Be bopping up in the party. Ain't no men of God got no business feeling comfortable around devil worshipers. Now Diddy, his sins done caught up to him. Now he's in prison. I hope he asks God forgiveness and repent. While he's alive, he's still got a chance to ask God forgiveness. And God will forgive if you are sincere. That's the purpose why he shed his blood on the cross. God loves Jakes. We're praying for him too. So we learn from our mistakes. Pray for me too. I made mistakes until so God began to open my eyes and corrected me in areas while I was doing things I wasn't doing certain things that was right. So I had to say, Lord, create me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me so I can become a better Christian. Because we all make mistakes. We're human. Whatever you weak in, say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Help me in the area where I'm weak at. God's grace is efficient for us and his strength is made perfect in weakness. Don't Paul that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn the world. I come that the world through him might be saved. If you need to repent, God will forgive. Now, those who got a problem with pornography, I want to help you out in masturbation. The Lord dealt with me about this. Let's go into the scriptures. Those who got a problem with pornography and porno. There many There's a young man who came for me from Times Square Church. I love Times Square Church. Uh, started by David Wilkinson. And the pastor, uh, pastor Carter, I, 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 mean, I wasn't a member there, but I used to visit there a lot. Pastor Carter, Ham, I used to love that church. A lot of love of God. The love of God is in that church. There's another man of God there that's pastoring the church there now. I can't recall his name. But somebody came to me from Times Square Church who used to watch me on TV in New York. And I said, Preacher Warren, can you pray that God will have me overcome pornography? I got a problem with pornography. And he was so surprised that I did not put him down. I said, I know you want a wife. You're wrestling with your flesh. You've been lonely. He said, oh, wow, how you knew that? I said, I know what you're going through. I will pray with you that God will help you overcome pornography. Praise God. Let's go into the word. To lust after a woman in your heart, you already committed adultery. To lust after a woman in your heart, you already committed adultery. Praise God. Matthew chapter number 5, verse 28. This is what Jesus said. But I say unto you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. It's a verse from the Bible, Matthew chapter 5, verse 28. Now I know that's easier said than done to keep it real. It ain't easy getting to heaven, but it's not impossible. That's why we must fast and pray, stay in God's word so God can help us in the area where we're weak at because we are surrounded by lust. It is a trick of the enemy. We are surrounded by seducing spirits. Loose women, many of you deal with loose men. We are surrounded by that. 
So that's why you got to stay in God's word. To stay holy. He said, be holy for I am holy. We're surrounded by lust. Pornography. Porn. You got, there's all kinds of addictions. Porn addictions. Drug addictions. Lust addictions. You're surrounded by that. That's why we must stay in the Bible. And stay in God's word. Because the devil want to tempt you. Hallelujah. Hey man, what I want you to do, I'm a, listen, listen to me, I want you to listen to me, I'm going to help you out, okay? Yeah. I want you to throw away the beads because there's demons in this, that's why you torment it. When you get home, I will you throw away this because all that is demonic spirits on that. That's why you get tormented, that's why bad things happen. Many people don't realize there's demons in this stuff. So I want you, to, God said throw it away. Yeah. The incense burning, it, it actually summons demons. Well, it, I don't and then want it, incense. Yeah, but I can smell incense around you. Oh no, you know, we're gonna put um, the Muslim to the eye. The Muslim, no, Muslims don't no, serve the Lord. You know why? Let me say sweet. No, no, say no. Muslims do not serve the Lord, they serve Muhammad. I know, that's right. All right, so if you deal with Muslim incense, don't burn those incense. No, I don't burn incense. You don't burn? No, the eye away. Okay, do you know anyone who burn it? I'm smelling some incense. No, this, let me show you what we need. Show me, and let's make it real fast. I got to get back preaching the word of God. Look at this. This thing. This eye. What is that? I Muslim eyes. Muslim oil. Yeah, Muslim. Well, that's why I just told you. Muslim oil. Muslims don't serve Jesus. I know they don't serve. Okay, so God should throw that away because it's demons. It causes headaches. I can smell it. There's demons in that Muslim. I'm gonna help you out, okay? If you obey, God gonna bless you. Throw away the Muslim oil because the Muslim oil. And can take demon spirits. So I'm gonna help you out, okay? Yeah. God should throw it away, and you're gonna see things get better for you. Okay. That's why you've been so tormented. I want you to missing. listen to me. I want you to know how to listen, because God loves you. He want to help you out. He should throw away these Muslim oil because Muslims don't glorify Jesus Christ; they glorify Muhammad. Yeah. So throw away that because there's evil spirits in that Muslim oil. Okay. He said throw away this, the beads, all that, all that is graven images. He said you throw away today. God is going to set you free. He's going to bless you. He's going to loose you. Okay. So, when you be obedient, watch how God going to bless you. You should throw away this too. What about these? All what that too. What about these two? So that too. So these are rainbow colors of gay. Yeah. Throw away all that too. And watch so how God bless you. Wait, can throw, I go? I go ring? Yeah, throw it away in the garbage can because okay. I can sense demonic spirits that causes headaches yeah. in the Muslim oil. That's why you've been going through a lot of problems because the demons have been attacking you through yeah. this. So Jesus loves you. I love you. And that's why. So he wants you to obey. Once you be obedient, watch God bless you. Okay. Watch God. So immediately, God should throw all this away in the garbage um, can. And now you'll get rid of the accursed thing. Is this like this American, like right? I want you to do it right now. Listen to me. I want you to do it right now. So I can get back okay. preaching the word. Just obey God. Do what the Lord tell you. To watch how God bless you. Okay? Throw it away. And watch how God, watch how the demons leave you alone. Okay? God bless you, daughter. Thank you. Have a great day. Huh? We'll talk about that in the future. We'll talk. God bless you. Okay, throw that away. Watch God bless. Throw everything away. Bless you now. Hallelujah. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. And even out there who got any kind of Muslim or we, God loves Muslims, but Alam just only feel that Jesus is a prophet. Yes, he was a prophet, but he was much more than that. He's a Messiah. He's our Redeemer. He's our Savior. You can't mix witchcraft with holiness. You can't mix the two. Okay, all that incense burning got demons in it. All that sweet smell all come from the, the botanical garden stores. God should throw it away. And watch how God bless you. That's the accursed thing. So I teach you this because I love you. I love souls. A lot of preachers ain't going to tell you this. They say, pray for me to get blessed. Well, you want to get blessed, we got to get rid of mess. Once you get rid of mess, like God told Joshua, throw away the accursed thing in the camp. Achan stole Babylonian garments and hid it in the camp. And when he got rid of it, that's when God began to win wars for Israel again, according to Joshua chapter number 7. So I pray you should be obedient. I don't want to bring any demons over here. I mean, them demons don't get sick. Pray for me. Pray for me. Well, I pray you obey. Praise God. And no minister keep asking for the same prayers. Praise God. He cannot be obedient. I don't mind praying for folk, but then you pray for these people and they go right back into sin and they be asking for the same prayer request. But when you begin to obey God, then you see results. Amen, somebody. You see a breakthrough in your life. So I pray she throw it away. We're going to pray for her. Praise God. God love her like he loves you. So get back into pornography.
to lust after the woman of your heart, you already committed adultery. Easier said than done because we're surrounded by lust and seducing spirit. In the church, the devil know what he's doing. It's normal to have an attraction for the opposite sex. That's only a normal thing. But when it goes to lust, see, he said it's not good for man to be alone, so God gave man a wife and not a knife. God did not give Adam a husband. Come on. God did not give Eve a wife. God gave man and woman. They get married, told them to be fruitful and multiply. He didn't tell Fifi -fi or he, he. Praise God. Love making was ordained by God for marriages. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, marriage is honorable in all, and the bed is undefiled. But the homongers and adulterers, God will judge. It's holy. Not sex before marriage, that's fornication. Not adultery, that's cheating on your wife and your husband. The Bible says adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of God. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2, he'll forgive you if you're willing to repent. Because he loves you. He don't want to see us go to hell. So, let it apply. Don't let it fly. Let it apply. Apply God's word in your life. Praise God. Many of you are going to do with pornography. Watching naked women. Going to do with masturbation. They got different fetishes. A different kind of fetishes. Lustful fetishes. Breast fetish. Feet fetish. Behind fetish. You know, I'm, you, you know preacher wine, keep it real. Many of you are going to do with fetishes. And it's destroying your life. You say, Lord, you know, I want to live holy. But I'm having these fetishes. Some of y'all are born with those fetishes. Praise God. Scientists say it's something with the brain. I used to have certain fetishes I used to wrestle with to keep it real since I was in third grade. Can I just keep it real until the testimony? Well, how do you overcome these fetishes? Many women are going through the same thing. You have certain fetishes. How do you overcome? Stay in God's word. Stay in prayer. Now, the roots of those fetishes, and the reason why many of you are watching pornography, not to make no excuses, even though we know it's wrong, but I know many of you are struggling in your flesh and you're trying to live holy. Did with masturbation, fantasies of sex. Many of you didn't get no sex in a long time from your husband and wife. The devil want to cause divorce in marriages where God doesn't like it. He don't want love making in marriages, but God ordained love making for marriages. That's how we got here. That's how we was birthed when our parents made love, and that's how we were birthed. That's how God ordained it. The devil wanted to try to destroy marriages. He didn't want marriages to work. He wanted us to commit adultery. Many of you didn't have, didn't make love in years. You go into porno, you go into pornography. Many of you have been black sheep in the family. You was put down by your mother. You was outcast in school. You might have been bullied in school. You might have been put down a lot and you've been depressed and you got no friends. And this is why you've been depressed. So now you're trying to find an outlet to your depression. Many of you have been sexually abused by your father or by your mother. First of all, let me help you out. It's not your fault that you got abused. It's not your fault that you've been sexually abused. So stop blaming yourself. You're not dirty. Jesus loves you. And the day God will heal your broken heart. Don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Well, I felt that right there. Again, the Holy Ghost is better than taking a drug overdose. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. But don't love the sin. Love you because you're God's creation. How can you love your neighbor if you don't first love yourself? We're praying for you right now. But love God more. And then God will teach you how to love you. Then you are going to pornography because you're trying to find an outlet to your depression. Many people are having sex addictions because you've been depressed. So every time you get depressed, then you go into sex because you've been depressed, because that's been an outlet to you. You're trying to find an answer to your addiction. You're trying to, many people go into drugs and heroin. Let the Lord give you a hug. You don't need no drugs. God's love can deliver you from drugs. Many of you became a sex addict because you've been depressed. That's why you're going to porn, because you're trying to get over reject rejection. You've been rejected growing up. You've been a black sheep growing up. Your family rejected you. Never had a father or mother growing up. You might have been a foster child. Never knew who your father was or your mother was. So you've been searching for love, but all in the wrong places. So you're going to porn or drug addictions because you're trying to find an answer to your problem. Stop right here. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Some of you are bitter against Christ. Well, Lord, you love me so much. Why do you allow me to be raped? Why do you not stop them from raping me, God? Some of you being bitter. We don't always understand why God allowed things to happen. But I do know that Jesus knows what it's like to be abused. He went through worse than us. He was crucified on the cross, but he overcame. He did it for the lost, for you and me. He overcame, and he loves you. He want to save you. God got a great plan for your life. Just making confession. 
That's the root to your masturbations. Then that's when lust come in. Because you've been lonely. You've been rejected in relationships. Many of you got molested when you was a child. Many men and women, you've been sexually abused, even those in the church. So now you're going to porn and pornography, trying to find someone to love you. Because you don't really love yourself. You're trying to find someone to embrace you. But Jesus can embrace you with his love. Ah, hallelujah. I know you've been molested. I know you've been raped. But Jesus can embrace you with his love. Not the pimp, because the pimp don't love you. All the pimp want to do is use your body. And when you ain't got no money, not the pimp want to beat you up. That ain't no daddy. That's a demon. Ain't no real daddy is going to abuse his daughter. Ah, oh, God got a great plan for your life. He loves you. You're somebody special. You're special to God. I know you've been an outcast. I know you've been molested. I know you've been raped. That's why you went into drugs. But let the Lord give you a hug. God got a great plan for your life. Have a conversation with Jesus and say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Forgive me for my sins. Lord, I surrender. I don't want to go to hell. God got a great plan for your life. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Whoa, hallelujah. Because the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Thank God for the Prince of Peace. Don't got to smoke no weed. God is all we need. Thank you, Jesus. That's why you went into porn. We get to the root of the problem. Now, how did we break it? Confess. Confess it to God. Lord, I got a problem with porn. Confess to God. Lord, I got a problem with pornography. Just confess it to God. And God will help you get over pornography. Now you can watch your wife. Now you can watch your husband instead of watching porn. That's a strong addiction. A lot of them girls, a lot of them I see demons, I done made a pact with the devil to bring on lust. A lot of them been molested themselves. And so they sold to Satan to get your mind off your wife and get your mind off your husband. And now you're masturbating. Now they come in the form of marine spirits. Now you're having wet dreams. Uh-oh, preach Holy Ghost. Don't turn that YouTube down. Marine spirits. One tried to come in my dream the other day. I had to plead the blood. Married woman, soul trapping. And she go to church all the way out of state. Come on. Come on, witches and warlocks. Soul traveling. Every time you get depressed and lonely, that spirit of lust begin to come. Because on in the inside, you're trying to find love because you've been rejected. You've been pressured growing up. That's the roots. God is going to lift that pressure off you. Praise the Lord, my brother. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're going to pray that God will help you get delivered over pawn addictions. That God will give you rest when you get depressed. God can give you rest when you get depressed. Many of you lost your parents. I'm praying that God will comfort you. He's the best comforter. Praise God. So when you're going through that loneliness and rejection, and you're going through flashbacks when your wife came against you, are your husband cheated on you? Are your wife cheated on you? You tend to feel inferior. So now when you go into porn and begin to entertain that stuff, it makes you feel better, but only for the moment. But it don't last long. You go back to the porn, and now you're getting addicted to it, to lust. Now you need God to set you free. That's why I sung that song. I'm so glad Jesus can set you free. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Glory to Dios, last year, Jesus. Jesus can set you free. Hallelujah. I'm so glad he can set you free. Singing glory. Hallelujah. Cardi B came to my Facebook. You, I'm praying for her. Now I guess Cardi B, a whole lot of you. Because I've got them seducing spirits. But that stuff will lead you to hell. Jesus want to give you eternal life. Those who are in the pack with the devil in Hollywood, Jesus can set you free. He loves you. Don't go to hell. Praise God. We're going to pray the prayer of faith right now. Jesus can set you free. Jesus can deliver you right now. Let's pray the prayer of faith right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, those who have a problem with porn and addictions and masturbations and want to get delivered from porn, just messing up their marriages, deliver them, God, in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. And who the Son said free, he's free indeed. 
and God will give you the Holy Ghost to stay free. Just say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Deliver me, Lord. Give me the power, Lord, over addictions. Deliver me from drugs and crack and alcohol. Say, I repent for my sins. Forgive me, Lord. Live within. Sanctify me holy. Be Lord of my life. For you are the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. Right now, God is saving you right now. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Ha, in the name of Jesus Christ, ha, for the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 38. God is setting you free right now. Don't you feel the peace of God coming upon you? Now, for God to help you stay consistent, stay in the word, stay in prayer, stay in fasting. If we're praying for you, God bless you. You are now free. Don't you feel the deliverance right now? I don't know about you, but I feel deliverance. I feel deliverance in the place. Whoa! Thank you, Jesus. Deliverance! Deliverance! Yes! Praise him for it. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Don't got to take no drug overdose. All we need is a Holy Ghost. Be free. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this message. If you didn't, I don't, don't get mad at me. I preach this way because God, this is where God called me to because he loves your soul. And I want to be saved. Every message that I preach is also for me. Anyone who want to send to our cash app, my cash app is Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. W-A-R-R-E-N-A-D-A-M-S. I'm going to be talking about more how to get, how to get over porn addictions and drugs. And sex addictions this week. I'm going to be doing the teaching on it. Okay? We're going to keep it real. We're not to put each other down. But we ought to pray one for another. We can see one have a weakness. Then we pray one for another. And help each other up. So we can make it to heaven together. Again, Flame of Fire 8. On the Pastor Warren Adams. God bless you as I cash out. And most of all, give your heart to Jesus Christ. So we can make heaven our home. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad Jesus can set us free. Ah, praise be the name of Jesus. Ah, praise be the name of Jesus. I'm so glad he can set you free.